Welcome, Brian. It's great to be here. Thank you for having me. Brian, it's hard to believe that we're almost at the end of another fiscal year, but before we start to look ahead, I'd love to hear from you your top line highlights of Scotiabank's recently announced third quarter results. Well, we had a great quarter. We had very good results out of our uh, PNC banking operations, both here in Canada and internationally. Record quarters in Canada of a billion dollars plus, record quarter of over 600 million internationally, and strong asset growth, strong deposit growth, very good credit trends, and all three of our business lines are performing very well. We're very proud to increase our dividend, three cents, uh, Per share, we're proud of where we are in terms of the, the digital transformation in the bank. We're making terrific headway. So maybe you could give me your, let's say your 12 or 18 month outlook for the Canadian economy. The Canadian economy is performing very well, best in the, in the G7. And so our outlook, barring any sort of external shock, if you will, is for uh, continuity throughout the balance of 2017 and into 2018. So I think Canada, from an economic standpoint, is in a very good spot. Talking to our investors here in Canada, give me a sense of sort of what are they focused on? They're focused on the housing market, they're focused on credit quality, and they're focused on, on growth. You know, we've been supportive generally of, you know, what the governments have done, whether they're provincial or federal, in terms of trying to cool the market off. I think more has to be done on the supply side of the equation. Right. The market is way too focused on the demand side. The two issues that we're focused on in terms of housing is one is supply and the other one is just the flow of foreign capital into the marketplace. What's your outlook, let's say, into 2018 on the Pacific Alliance? Our investment thesis remains intact. Uh, we love those marketplaces. We're going to continue to invest organically, look selectively at acquisitions, invest in our businesses, invest in our people, and, and grow our business. Every time I'm down there, it just reassures me and we feel more comfortable in our investment in the region. What's your views on NAFTA and I guess what should we be paying attention to as these negotiations continue? It does need updating, but NAFTA has been a huge success. Trade uh, over the continent throughout North America during the time of NAFTA's existence has tripled. Uh, it's created millions of new jobs and is a very important part of the economic fabric of the three countries. I think that uh, NAFTA will be successfully renegotiated or updated and that's going to be really important for all three countries. I want to thank you for your time today, Brian. I My really pleasure. appreciate your insights. Thank you for doing this. Thank you.